score. Was that the last stand for Quadras? Under a minute to go here in the 11th. Oh, and he's getting, and that'll do it! Juan Francisco Estrada, the rooster, has stopped Carlos Quadras. Cause of concern, not only should, should the corner be concerned, but it looks like you're... Oh, down goes your five! The signature right hand from Chocolatito. The champ is back! Chocolatito has a title belt again. RGR, with so many fights, build it in the pipeline. Thankfully, one came to pass at the right time. I say, muchas gracias, the zone says Donata. For Aaron, the rematch between Chocolatito and Estrada, guarantee the two words will go all out. Not the type to start capping on the call out. Or find 100 ways of trying to stall out. And frustrated fans again with another fallout. Superfly has the four kings, there's no other guys. Lightweights can't claim the same until otherwise. And it's Superfly ways to stop favor you. Go pay for it. Ruiz and Ariola on pay-per-view Will this be a win? Chocolatito can repeal or try to get revenge by inflicting a defeat Woo! Yeah, I know you heard that So yeah, man, Chocolatito, Juan Francisco Estrada 2, man, the rematch Oh, I can't wait for this fight, man. This has been nine years, and you know this time it's for all the marbles and for and for two of the belts. And uh, man, I've been going back and forth. My my mind is saying Estrada, but my heart's saying Chocolatito. But so here's how I'm thinking it: uh, Estrada cannot take those rounds off early. Um, he's done this in this fight either just either to establish, you know, either to get warmed up or you know to function as he as he usually does as a counter puncher. If he does this early in the fight. He may allow Chuck Leo to either A, you know, jump up bank, you know, get early and bank those rounds, or E, Chuck Leo to actually be super aggressive enough to actually pull a left you know, to wear him down early so he won't have anything late in the fight. Um, so, in order to do that, Estrada has to be aggressive. Estrada has to match aggressiveness with aggressiveness and has to make and has to also believe in his own power because Estrada does work best when he's aggressive. And he also has a hell of a killer instinct, too, as I think, you know, Estrada does carry a little bit more power at this weight than Chocolatito. And, um, and, here's, and the reason why I'm thinking I might lean toward Estrada is um, Estrada is, when Estrada gets somebody hurt, he has somebody hurt. And I also don't think Chocolatito has the punch resistance like he used to, to be able to take an uh, over-aggressive Estrada, especially an Estrada that can, act, can also take his, can also take his power and aggressive kind of late into a fight. So I am gonna go for Estrada with a late rounds knockout. Um, I'm thinking that maybe rounds 10 or 11, he will stop Chocolatito. Great, great card, and of course, top by two legends, you know, two absolute great. Like I said, it's the fight, this fight is boxing, you know, it's everything that boxing, um, or is great about boxing. You know, March 13 in Dallas is a show you must not miss. miss.